Hi guys, I'm Mystics, Audio Video Production, and today I just want to introduce you the new app for iPad. It's called Rig Manager, the same for desktop, for your camper device. So actually the Rig Manager application is only for iPad iOS and not for Android. So of course, hold we up for the near uh, future, 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 future to have the application for Android. The sound that you heard comes from my package, professional package for camper. If you are interested, you can see uh, the link down below. Let's start talking about this new rig manager for iPad. I have my iPad here. Uh, as you can see right now, I'm in uh, performance mode because the switch of the camera is in performance mode. Let's start first talking about what do you need to make it work properly. So you need, of course, a camper device, can be a rack, can be an amp, can be a stage. You need an iPad, of course, you need the last software of your camper is 8.5, I guess. So if you have a camper stage, you have the Wi-Fi, uh, so you don't need any cable. Basically, you need only to have both iPad and your camper stage on the same line of the internet and you're good to go. If you have the camper like this, so the rack or the amplifier version, uh, you don't have the Wi-Fi integrated, but you have, of course, the network, so the Ethernet cable to use uh, on the back of your unit. So you have to connect the Ethernet cable to your router of your internet, and of course, be sure to have always the same kind of uh, line, so the same Wi-Fi, same name, otherwise the two devices will not communicate. So I want to show you how it's fast to recognize my uh, camper, which is connected by the cable. Let's open the app. This is the camper app. It's scanning for devices. So should pop up. Here it is. My profiler is connected. Recognize and I can play. And it's also fast to change maybe uh, my preset or my performance, like this. Clean. Classic. My vintage. All these profiles have been done with my blue guitar, it's the pedal, and you can of course download from the link in the description. As you can see, the editor is really clean. You can see all the parameters is really, really the same of the rig manager of your desktop. Uh, so you, if you use the rig manager, you already know how to use this application. You can see on the top the name of your performance. Right now I can change performance. This is the Jack album. This is my uh, Supra amplifier. Maybe we can adjust the noise gate. Or my Driftful Purple Nightmare. This is with uh, clean mode in uh, crank and amp. As you can see, if I change on the amplifier the gain, you can see also the gain on my camper that is moving in real time. So you can do the same thing on your desktop. So you can disable the amplifier because you are in the amplifier. You can also touch the amplifier is disabled. Uh, cabinet, you can lock. 
you can do everything. Also, if I switch on the browser, is switching, of course, the camper, but also the visualization here is changed. As you can see now, I'm seeing the Jet City. I can change Supermad. <laughs> The really new cool feature is this morph, this bar that you can see here from the orange color to the blue color is basically a virtual expression pedal. So you can assign different parameters to this virtual uh, expression pedal. Of course, you can use also an expression pedal, a physical expression pedal connected to the camper to of course move all the parameter. So let's see how it works. We can for example, uh, create a sound, the same sound, moving the gain of our amplifier from maybe near to zero to get a clean sound from my Supra uh, profile, and then raise the gain to get more crunchy tone. So, for example, let's move the gain all the way down. Okay, now let's move the bar here to the blue color. And now we can move again the gain parameter or whatever parameter you want. And as you can see, there is this color from red, orange to blue. So if I move here, my expression pedal, as you can see, is changing the gain. And as you can see on the camper is changing also the gain. I can use this feature uh, on my studio to uh, prepare maybe some presets or I can also use this on live stage because I can also uh, create a, a tempo uh, with this uh, behavior. So let me show you. I can play now and I have a clean sound. Moving the slider. But the cool thing is that I can also um, make in connection other parameters. So for example, I want to engage my spring reverb. So let's add the mix, for example. Spring size. So, let's say I want this spring reverb only in the clean situation, not with this distortion. So, let's do this. Let's create a zero mix, so without anything. Let's bring the slider all the way up, and now let's move the mix. Okay? Now, if I move the slider to the red, I have the clean. Because if I see in, me, I'm in my amplifier, this is the red position. So as you can see, it's basically zero gain. But raising is raising the gain. And also the spring reverb is going down. With the red. Oh, sorry, is, is, is the opposite. So in this, uh, in this case, I did the opposite. So if I raise in the distortion, I have the string reverb, sorry. But this is uh, how this, this morph works. The really cool thing is that if I want to engage, for example, a uh, delay, Now, all to the left, I have my clean. And all to the right, I have my distortion wind delay. Okay. Too much.
much feedback. The really cool thing is that you can uh, control this uh, uh, behavior, so from uh, the left to the right, uh, in a tempo. So let me explain you. I go to rig, I can make the rise time, for example, let me move, and the fall time. So now, if I go, for example, from the clean, and I click the opposite, so the blue, So the slider is moving uh, alone. Let's do maybe with uh, a longer time, for example. Let's see the gain here. So guys, this feature is really, really cool to use also in a live situation. You can program your uh, different sounds and with the parametric, you can also use your expression pedal to create different sounds. It's really, really cool. The application is really stable, works perfectly in my iPad, works perfectly also uh, with the network no any kind of problem. You have the link in the description also of the sound I use right now. As always, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below, let me know what you think about it, and I'll see you next time. Bye!